Hello, Marvin. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight, Marvin? Hello, Gabriel. Good evening. Hello. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Fine. Are you fine? fine? That is excellent. Is it raining in the place where you live? No, it is raining. Ah, oh, yes. It is raining? Well, it is raining a lot. And Marvin, what about you? Is it raining there in the place where you live? Yes, teacher. It's raining. Okay. I hope that we don't have any problems, right, with the internet connection or with the power if this go off. And Angel Portillo, welcome to the class. How are you tonight, Angel? Oh, he's still getting connected. Hello, Angel. Welcome to the class. Good evening. How are you tonight, Angel? Well, guys, yesterday we were talking about the simple past tense. We started to study this tense, uh, which is a little bit bigger, right? It's a big, but it's a very interesting topic. And we uh, learned yesterday that we have two types of verbs. In simple past tense, we have regular verbs and also irregular verbs. And yesterday we were studying some uh, regular verbs, right? Uh, when we need to add ed, ied, or just be. And also we learned about the pronunciation of the final ed in this regular pair. And we have three sounds. We have t sound, d sound, and it sound. And also we learned how to make affirmative sentences in simple past tense. That was yesterday class. Hello, Gana Yasmin. Welcome to the class. Hello, Anna. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Oh, how are you tonight, Anna? Very good. Thank you. Ah, okay, that is excellent. So tonight we are going to continue talking about irregular verbs, verbos irregulares. And also we are going to continue talking about the simple past tense. Uh, about yesterday class, ¿tienen alguna pregunta acerca de la clase de ayer? Do you have any question about yesterday class? No, no question. Hello, can you please repeat? No, this, uh... at the moment this question. Ah, okay, at the moment you don't have any question. Okay, that is great then. Let's start with the night class. And what about the platform exercises? Are you working on the section number four? Are you working in the section number four in the platform exercise? I'm sorry, teacher. I didn't work on the platform. Uh, okay, don't worry. You still have time, right? So you have until Friday to complete the exercises on the platform. It is important that you work on that. So please complete those exercises. Todavía tenemos tiempo, ¿verdad? Hasta el viernes para completar la sección número 4. So, what on that, please? Sección number 4. So, let's start with this class. So, I'm going to share with you the presentation for today. I am sharing with you my screen. Let me know, please, if you can already see it. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I see. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. So this is the topic for tonight, simple past, irregular affairs. And this is the class number 10. So welcome, everybody. Welcome to the class. And let's start with this. So this is the lesson applicant for tonight. 
any volunteer to read the objective for tonight for this class what we are going to learn tonight a volunteer yes teacher thank you anna can you please read the lesson objective lesson objective by the end of this class you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple parts using irregular verbs Excellent. Thank you so much. So tonight we're going to study uh, positive or affirmative sentences in negative, right? In the simple past tense using irregular verbs. Pero antes de que conozcamos los verbos irregulares, recordemos los verbos regulares que estudiamos la noche anterior. Regular verbs review. Complete the sentences. Use your own information. Then compare with the partner. We're going to complete these sentences. Primero veamos las expresiones que están a la par de los números. Yesterday, last night, last week, last month, and last year. What is the meaning of yesterday? What's the meaning of yesterday? Ayer. Ayer. And what about last night? Anoche. Anoche. Last week. Semana pasada. Last month. Mes pasado. In last year. Año pasado. El año pasado. Okay, excellent. Very good. So it says yesterday I watched or I didn't watch television. You have to use your own information to complete these sentences. Tiene que usar su información para completar estas oraciones. Ayer vio usted televisión o no vio televisión. Entonces, si yo vi televisión, es yesterday I watch television. Y si yo el día de ayer no vi televisión, then I say yesterday I didn't watch television. Last night I stay home. Estuvo hasta en casa anoche. Then you say I stayed home yesterday. Or last night I stay home. Y si usted no estuvo en casa, then you say last night I didn't stay home. I didn't stay home. Yo no estuve en casa. The last week, I exercise every day. O si la semana pasada no hizo nada de ejercicio, then say, I didn't exercise every day. Last month, I shop for clothes. El mes pasado me fui de compras, ¿verdad? Compré ropa. O no lo hice. I didn't shop for clothes. El año pasado... Last year I visited a different country. El año pasado visité un país diferente. O el año pasado no lo hice. No hice esa actividad. I didn't visit a different country. Ok, let's start with... Who wants to start? Any volunteer? Anybody wants to start? Just a volunteer, please. Just one. Tell me sentences in simple past about these activities. Watch television, stay home, exercise every day, shop for clothes, visit a different country. Anybody want? I oh, just one volunteer to start. Well, then I'm going to choose somebody. Bueno, veamos. Um, Ana. Jasmine, dígame un número del 1 al 6, please. 3. 1, 2, 3. 3, okay, let's see. 1, 2, 3. Oh, Marvin Alexander, you are number 3 here on my screen. So, can you please start, Marvin? Okay, teacher. I didn't, uh, last week, I didn't exercise every day. Okay, excellent. Very good sentence. Last week, I didn't exercise every day. And what about yesterday? Did you watch television? Marvin? Then you say Hello? yes. What about watch television yesterday? Um, yesterday, I watched television. Excellent. Yesterday I watched television. Very good. Okay, veamos, Marvin, dígame un número from one to eight. Um, eight. 
Hey, let me see who is Mauricio Navas. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight, Mauricio? I am very tired. Oh, you are very tired. It was a, okay, it was a difficult day today. Okay, Mauricio, can you get um, this sentence? About these activities. Last year, for example, did you visit a different country? Mauricio, did you visit a different country last year? El año pasado visitó un país, otro país. Uh, uh, no. No, okay, then you say last year I no, did. No, for sure. Okay, I know that. entonces la oración sería last year I didn't visit a different country. Can you say the sentence, please? Last year, I didn't visit a different country. That is the sentence. Last year, I didn't visit a different country. Thank you so much. Well, let's go with... I didn't visit a different country. Okay, excellent. I didn't visit a different country. Thank you. Vamos a escoger a Gabriel. Gabriel, can you tell me, please? Yes, here. Last night, did you stay at home? Uh, last night, uh, I I stayed I stayed at home. Okay, and last week, did you exercise every day? Last week, uh, I didn't exercise every day. And last month, did you shop for clothes? Last month, I didn't shop for clothes. Thank you for your sentences. Those were perfect. Thank you so much. Now, look at the verb here. Cook, exercise, listen, knitted, <laughs> shop, and waited. ¿Cómo vamos a pronunciar el, el ED final de estos verbos regulares? Teníamos tres sonidos. Aprendimos eso el día de ayer. We had this sound, this sound, and it sound. El primero, cook. ¿Con qué sonido termina? Cook. This sound. ¿Con cuál de los tres sonidos? This sound, this sound, or it sound. Cook. Cook. T sound. T sound, yes. Exercise. 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 And then we have listened, needed, top, and waited. Exercise with. Which sound it's in? <laughs> ¿Con cuál de los tres sonidos termina exercise? Exercise. It's with exercise. this sound. And then we have listened. Listen. Listen. This sound. Need it. Need it. It sounds shop, shop, shop. With T sounds, termina con sonido de T. In final, we have waited, waited, waited. It sounds, termina con sonido I de it sounds. Well, this was just the class, and now let's start with night class. And for tonight, oh well, this were the option. Last night I stay home. Last night I didn't stay home. Last week I exercised. Last week I didn't exercise every day. Last month I shopped for clothes. Last month I didn't shop for clothes. Last year I visited a different country or last year I didn't visit a different country. Those were the options to answer this, this sentence, to complete this sentence. Okay, now let's start with irregular verb. 
Let me think why. How are they different from regular verbs? ¿Cómo son diferentes los verbos irregulares de los verbos regulares? ¿Alguien tiene alguna idea? Do you have any idea? Why are they different? Nobody has an idea why regular and irregular verbs are different. Oh, nobody remembers the information. Okay, uh, that's great. No problem. Um, de ellos son diferentes porque los verbos regulares siguen algunas reglas para formar el pasado simple. Los verbos irregulares, cada verbo tiene su propia forma. Look at the following example. I did my homework. So this is the verb do in past, right? Did. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 a.m. So you got up. Got up is the simple pass of get up. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. When is the simple past form of the verb go? And then we have we meet our classmate. We met our classmate, sorry. We met our classmate. Nosotros conocimos a nuestros compañeros. We didn't meet our teacher. Nosotros no conocimos a nuestro maestro. Then met is the simple past form of meet. You came home late. You didn't come home early. So, come is the simple past of the verb came. Oh, sorry, sorry. Came is the simple past of the verb come. They have a picnic. They didn't have a party. Then had is the simple past of the verb have. As you can see, every verb has its um, own form in the simple past tense. Cada verbo tiene su propia forma en el pasado. Let's listen to this example. I did my homework. Can you listen? I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. Can you listen to examples? Yes, teacher. Yes, I listen. Okay, thank you so much. Did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. Okay, any volunteer to read the example number one, please? Any volunteer? Thank okay. you, Anna Yasmin. Ah, okay, thank you. Let's Read it, please. <laughs> Do it. Can you please start reading the example? I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. Excellent. Thank you. Second example. You got up at noon. Any volunteer? Yes, teacher. Oh, thank you, Anna. You got go to at noon, you didn't get up at 10 p.m. Excellent. Example number three, any volunteer? One, two, three. Marvin, can you please tell me with the exercise number three? With the example three, please. He went. Okay. He went to the museum. He didn't go the library. Excellent. Kevin, Kevin, can you help me please with number four? Okay. Casi no veo porque aparece una campanita ahí. No sé cómo. Oh, Matt, Matt. Matt, okay. We met our classmate. We didn't meet our teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Carmen. Can you help me with the next one, please? Thank you. You can. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Can you help me reading this example, please? You can. Uh, 
¿Cuál, teacher? Es one, two, three, four, five. Number five, please. Okay. You came home late. You didn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> you didn't come home early. You didn't come home early. Thank you. And the last one, Raúl Edgardo, can you please the last one? They had a picnic. They didn't. I had a party. Excellent. Thank you so much. Then let's continue with the next information here. Unfortunately, there isn't any rule to form the simple path of irregular pair. You have to learn them from a list and you have to memorize every single verb. Pass form. Take a look at the following verbs. So, as I said before, there is any rule that to form the simple path of the irregular pair. So, the only way to learn them is memorize a list. La única manera de aprendernos el pasado simple de los verbos irregulares es aprendiéndonos de una lista, ¿verdad? lista que les voy a compartir más adelante en el grupo de WhatsApp. Después de la clase les comparto la lista de verbos irregulares para que empecemos a estudiar. Y, but in this moment, look at these examples. Do, get up, go, meet, come and have. I have this verb. Then the simple path of them is did, got up, went, met, came, and had. The one that we have in the examples. And I have here an example for every verb. I did yoga yesterday. She got up <coughs> early. He went to the shopping mall. She met her classmate. We came home early. And they have a birthday party. Okay, making affirmative sentences in simple past tense with irregular verbs is the same way. Es lo mismo que en los verbos regulares. We are going to need a subject, a verb in simple past tense, and a complement. And I have the following example for you to read. Number one, any volunteer to read number one? Thank you, Gabriel. Can you please? I did my homework. Excellent. Mauricio, the second. I did, no, you, you call up a uh, noon. Thank you. Let's see, Ana. Bueno, Ana acaba de venir. Raúl Edgardo, number three. He went to the museum. He went to the museum. Excellent. He went to the museum. Thank you. Angel Portillo, the next one. We met. Yes, teacher. Uh, we met our new teacher. Excellent. We met our new teacher. Thank you. That was excellent. And the next one, they came. Marvin, can you tell me? They came. They came home late. And the last one, Ana Lucia, can you please? Hello, good night. Hello, good night. Welcome to the class. The last sentence, please. Eh, perdón, no, no, no sé qué quiere que, 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 ah, okay, que lo, lo lea, perdón. Yes. No, no. Can you please yes. read it? Three, the following example. I did my homework. You got... You got up at noon. He went to the museum. museum. <laughs> we met our new teacher. They came home late. You had a picnic. Excellent. Very good job. You had a picnic. So as you can see, it's the same, right? Es lo mismo que aprendimos el día de ayer. Oraciones afirmativas in simple past tense. Subject, a very in simple past. Let's complement. That's it. Uh, let's see, for example, he went to the museum. The subject is he, when is the verb in simple past tense, and the museum is the complement. We met our new teacher. We is the subject, met is the verb in simple past tense, and our new teacher is the complement in the sentence. So it's the same structure. 
Now let's practice. Do you know the correct form of the following verbs? ¿Conocen la forma pasada de los siguientes verbos? It, think, take, find, see, make, fit, and write. What is the simple past form of it? A. A. A, it is. Yes, you're right. A is the right simple past form of this verb. What about think? Singer. Singer. Mm, singer? Is it singer? No, it isn't because sin is a regular verb. Si fuera regular, sí sería okay. singer. Pero como es un regular, la forma es san. San is the simple okay. password of this verb. What about take? Take. Do you have an idea? Look. Look, yes, you're right. Look is the simple password of take. Find. Found. Found, yes. Found is the simple path. Then see. So. So, yes. Make. Made. Made. See. Uh, <laughs> Excellent. Wow. That is the simple past form of the verb seed and right. Road, road, road. Road. Okay, excellent. Now let's see a look of this. This is the past form of this verb. It, a, thing, sun, take, took, find, found, see, so, made, made, sit, sat, right, grow. Bueno, el que más vemos casi todos los días es made, ¿verdad? Made in Mexico, made in the United States, made in Japan. En casi todos los productos están hecho en this bird. You can find this bird in many things. Now, do you know the meaning of these two, four, six, eight birds? Do you know the meaning of it one? Now, it. What is the meaning in Spanish of this one? Comer. Comer. And the next one, thing. Next is uh, cantar. Cantar, yes. Take. Tomar. 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 Find. Encontrar. 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 Sí. Ver. Ver. Make. Hacer. Hacer. Sí. Sentar. Sentar. And finally, write. Ah, okay, that's excellent. Very good. Now look at the example here. I ate a cake. The example, I ate a cake. We sang too much last night. I took an English class yesterday. I found your keys under the table. He saw the new movie yesterday. He made a cake. It was delicious. I sat on the old chair and it broke. He wrote a letter to his wife. All of these sentences are in simple past. New vocabulary there. Vocabulario nuevo en estas oraciones. No, really? No. Any new word there? Let's see, what is the meaning of the first one? I ate a cake. Okay, excellent. She made a cake. It was delicious. What's the meaning in Spanish? She made a cake. It was delicious. How do you translate this sentence? She made a cake. It was delicious. Ella hizo un pastel y estaba delicioso. Okay, excellent. Very good. Ahora, yo les digo en español y ustedes me dicen la oración en inglés. Me senté en la silla vieja y esta se rompió. What is it? What is the right sentence? 
I saw I I saw, saw I I I Excellent. Uh, nosotros cantamos demasiado anoche. She saw the news We sang too much last night. Encontré tus llaves debajo de la mesa. I found your keys on the table. Your case on the table. Ah, ok, very good. Vi la película nueva ayer. He saw the new so, movie yesterday. Very good. Él escribió una carta para su esposa. He wrote a letter to his wife. En la cual le decía que se divorciara. Ah, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. No, verdad que romántico. Y todavía le escribe cartas. He wrote a letter to his wife. That is great. So let's continue. Thank you so much. Any question in this example? Then, uh, bueno, una vez más. Como pueden ver, cada verbo verdad irregular tiene su propia forma en el pasado. It a thing can they took, find, found, see, so, made, made, sit, sat, right, right. Bueno, no hay otra manera, pero tenemos que estudiarlos y aprendernos uno por uno. Uno por uno, one by one. Si nos aprendemos cinco diarios, en seis meses hemos terminado. Nos podemos muchísimo. <laughs> <laughs> so, how to make negative statement using irregular verbs? Oraciones negativas, ah, igual que la de con los verbos regulares. Necesitamos el auxiliar didn't. Subject, didn't, the verb in the present. Ya no más en pasado, ¿verdad? Cuando es la oración negativa, el verbo se pone en infinitivo o en presente, ¿ok? Plus complement, más un complemento. And I have here this example for you. I didn't take many pictures. The tour guy didn't speak Spanish. She didn't go fishing. You didn't eat fruit. They didn't do their homework. We didn't buy a new smartphone. So negative sentences. The object didn't. The verb in this present plus complement. Okay, ya no lo vayamos a poner en pasado cuando es una oración negativa, porque el pasado va en el auxiliar. En el auxiliar. Okay. Don't forget about this. Any volunteer to practice reading this example? Who wants to try them? Veamos. El que tenga más sueño, vamos a poner a leer en este momento. ¿Quién dice yo? Sí, teacher. Ah, okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Only the example. Just the examples, please. Okay, teacher. I didn't take many pictures. The tour guy didn't speak Spanish. She didn't go fishing. You didn't eat fruit. They didn't do their homework. We didn't buy a new smartphone. Excellent. Thank you so much. That was perfect. Nice. Let's continue then. Thank you. So negative sentences. Now, how to make yes, no question. Uh, pasémonos a las preguntas. ¿Cómo hacer preguntas en pasado simple? Easy. We are going to follow the next structure. In English, it's important to learn this grammatical structure, right? Because all the sentences in simple past are going to use this, the same structure. So auxiliary did at the beginning of the sentence. Subject, the verb in present, plus complement, plus the question mark. Eso vamos a necesitar para hacer una pregunta. A, a yes, no question. Auxiliary did at the beginning of the sentence. Subject, the verb in present, complement, and finally, the question mark. In English, we just write the question mark at the end of the question. Solo necesitamos uno, ¿verdad? Un signo de pregunta al final de cada pregunta. And I have this question for you. Did you go shopping on the weekend? Fue usted de compras el fin de semana? Then you have two options. Yes, I did. No, no I, I didn't. didn't. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Easy. Did you go shopping on the weekend, Kevin? 
No, I didn't. No, he didn't, teacher. Carmen, did you go shopping on the weekend? Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, Anna, I did. Yes, I did. Anna saying, yes, I did. Carlos David, did you go shopping on the weekend? Carlos? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay. Um, creo que se activó su micrófono, pero no le escuchamos, Carlos. Let's go with... Well, let's go with the second one. Did he go to the beach last vacation? Mm, ahora ya no estamos hablando de nosotros, estamos hablando de él, de he. El, did he go to the beach last vacation? He say, fue Kevin a la playa en las vacaciones pasadas. Ah, entonces tenemos que decir si sí, él fue o no, él no, ¿verdad? Then we answer with yes, he did, o no, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. In the third example, did she eat eggs and beans for the breakfast? Ah, comió ella ¿verdad? huevos y frijoles para el desayuno. Ahora estamos hablando de ella. De decir, yes, she did. Si ella sí o no, she didn't. No, ella no. Did they write a letter? Ellos. ¿Escribieron ellos una carta? Then you say, yes, they did. O no, they didn't. Ok. So, tenemos que ser cuidadosos con el sujeto, ¿verdad? Para poder dar una respuesta correcta. Do you have any question in this part? Preguntas en esta parte. Do you have any question? Any doubt? Any comment? No, no question. Quería que será saber entonces la palabra did es como hizo tal cosa. O sea, el hizo ese es el significativo. Mm, ok, did es un auxiliar nada más que nos ayuda para hacer la oración. En simple past siempre vamos a necesitar el verbo. Ok. Por ejemplo, en la primera, did you go shopping on the weekend, sería go, el verbo principal. El did solo nos ayuda a hacer la pregunta. Solo es un verbo auxiliar. Thank you. Ok. Eh, el did nos puede confundir algunas veces porque también es un verbo. Eh, did es do en pasado también. Si yo digo, hice mi tarea, entonces I did my homework. Ahí está como verbo, hice mi tarea. Pero en este caso de las preguntas está como auxilia. Está como auxilia. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for your question. Uh, any other question? Sí, señor. Y eso se ocupa también para la W question. Yes. Vamos a utilizar el auxiliar did también para las W. Equation 2. Para las preguntas de información, primero va la W equation, uh, W equation work, then did, luego va el sujeto, luego va el verbo y luego va el complemento y finalmente el question mark. For example, what did you do last weekend? ¿Qué hizo el fin de semana pasado? What is the W work? Then I have did. What did you? Eh, you es el sujeto, did, el, what did you do? Do es el verbo, en last weekend el complemento y el question mark, what did you do last weekend? Entonces siempre necesitamos el did para esas preguntas. Ok, thank you for your question, that was an excellent question. So look at this small conversation and to practice the simple past tense with irregular verbs. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses, and we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We have a great time. New vocabulary in this small conversation. Is, there is a new vocabulary here. Can you help me to find the irregular verb in this conversation? Went, teacher, went. 
Okay, let me see what is when. Yeah, when is an example. Which other when? Any other irregular verb? So, love. So is another one. Okay, so love, yes, it is a verb, but love is a regular verb. Es un verbo regular, termina en edeb. Okay, gracias. Any other example of irregular verb? Love it. Love. Love is a regular verb. When, teacher. When, when. yes. When, we have okay, to okay. when. Okay. Ah, and also we have other ones here. Ah, hay dos más. Hay dos más todavía en la conversación. Okay, road. Road the horses and the other. Ah, this is the other one. Excellent. Those are the irregular verbs. Now, let's pay attention to the pronunciation and intonation uh, in the question. Did you like it? Did you go anywhere last summer? Did you have fun? So pay attention to the intonation. Did you go hiking there? And then we are going to practice. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. Uh, could you listen? My sister went to Arizona. Okay. So, now did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. New vocabulary in this part? No, okay. I need to learn to, to practice. Who wants to practice in this small conversation? Me, teacher. Thank you, Carmen. I have Carmen in anybody. One. Who went? Who went? Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Oh, thank you, Gabriel. So, Carmen, you are going to read Laura's part, and Gabriel, you're going to read Erica's sentences. Let's start, please. Okay. Um. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and my and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse and we also went we were uh, rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We have a great time. Excellent. Thank you so much. That was great. No pronunciation problems. No mistakes. Thank you so much. So let's continue. Let's go with the next. So here. Okay, here is an explanation. Simple past, yes, no question. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I have a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. 
let's listen to this example, pay attention, and then we're going to practice again. Simple past yes, no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Okay, I want to listen, Kevin, and let me see. Ana Yasmin. Kevin, can you please read the question and Ana Yasmin the answer? Okay, teacher. Um, did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a good summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't play play tennis. Erica like her vacation. Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Excellent, thank you. Now I want to hear Ana, Lucia, and Marvin. Can you please, Ana and Marvin? Ana, the question. Marvin, the answer. Did you have a good a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. Didn't they went to Arizona? Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now the last two people, Manuel, can you? Manuel and Mauricio, can you tell me, please? Manuel, the question, Mauricio, the answer. Did you have a, a good summer? Yes, I did. I have a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it, it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they they didn't. They went to Arizona. Excellent. Thank you so much. How do you say vacaciones in English? Vacation. 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 Okay, excellent. Thank you. Very good job. Thank you for your help in this part. And Simple path. With the next thing here. Okay, this is just an exercise. Let's practice. What is the right answer here? One, two, or three. Just tell me the number. Yeah, number one, we have Tom. A new house last month. What is the simple path of the verb buy? Is it buy, boat, or has boat? What do you think it is? One, two, or three? Two. One. Okay, Kevin, say one. one. And... Who say number two? ¿Quién vota por el número dos? ¿Quién le va el dos? ¿Quién le va el uno? Me, sí, sí. Oh, Kevin, say one. Well. And the right answer in the first one Three. is two. Bow. Ese es el Three. pasado simple del verbo buy. Bow. And let's see the next one. She did not understand the question yesterday. Ella no entendió sí. la pregunta ayer. Then option number one, understood not, hasn't understood, or didn't understand. Understood. Didn't understand. Didn't understand. Excellent. Number three is the right answer. She didn't understand the question yesterday. And let's see exercise C. Fred, a lot of pictures of his holiday last summer. Is it Duke, 
take wow. or has taken? Has taken? Number one. Mm. Number one. Three, one. Okay, el que toca el number one, esa es la oración correcta. Perdón, la opción correcta. Number one. Fred took a lot of pictures on his holiday last summer. Let's go with the next. I have another three questions for you here. Oh, the next is a question. ¿Qué te dieron para tu cumpleaños? What has you got? What got you? Or what did you get? For your birthday. One, two, or three. What did you get? Number two, what, teacher. Why Number did three. Why did you get? What did you good. get for your birthday? Yes, that is the real answer. And letter E, exercise E. Where last weekend? Donde fuiste el fin de semana pasado? Where did you went? Where did you go? Where went you last weekend? Number two. Did you yes. Go? Where did you go? That is the right answer. And finally, F, letter F. I to buy that computer, but it was too expensive. Quería comprar esa computadora, pero estaba muy... Number three. Then, let's see, number three. Yes, you're right. I wanted to buy that computer, but it was too expensive. Ah, okay, excellent. Very good. Okay, we're going to do this practice. Here the answer for the following question with your classmate. What did you do last weekend? And I have this example, go, clean, watch, stay, study, sing, dance, eat, get up, visit, and buy. Let me see the first question. Did you go to the movie theater last weekend? Kevin, did you go to the movie theater or to the cinema last weekend? Mm. Where are the cinema? I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Excellent answer. Thank you. Uh, Carmen, did you go to the movie theater? Carmen? Did I you didn't. Go? No, I didn't. Okay, excellent. Gabriel, did you go to the movie theater last weekend? No, I didn't. Ana Yasmin, did you go to the movie theater last weekend? I didn't. Okay, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Bueno, Ana Lucía, le toca preguntarle a sus compañeros lo siguiente. Did you clean your house? Uh, Marvin, did you clean your house last weekend? Well, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Excellent. And Manuel, did you clean your house last weekend? Yes, I didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did. Ah, okay. Yes, I did. Didn't cuando es negativo. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. L L Mauricio, le toca preguntarle la siguiente a sus compañeros. Did, did you wash your car? Raúl, Edgardo, did you wash your car? No, I didn't. Claudia Palacios, did you wash your car? Last weekend, Claudia, Claudia, oh, probably she's busy. Let's go with Kevin. Did you wash your car last weekend? Yes, I did wash my car. Yes, I did. I washed my car. Excellent answer. Carmen, le toca preguntarle la siguiente a sus compañeros. Did you study? Last weekend. Anna, did you study English last weekend? Yes, I did. <laughs> Anna Yasmin, did you study English last weekend? Yes, I did. Ah, okay, excellent. Bien, let's see. Kevin, le toca preguntarle la siguiente a sus compañeros. Okay. Did you sing? Did you sing last weekend? Did you Ante. sing last weekend? 
Angel Portillo, did you sing last weekend? Did you sing last week? Angel, did you sing last weekend? No, teacher. No, I no, didn't. no, I didn't. Excellent. No, I didn't. No, no cante nada el fin de semana. Great. Did you dance? <laughs> did you dance last weekend? Mauricio, did you dance last weekend? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Carmen, did you dance last weekend? Yes, I did. Ok, excelente. Ángel, le toca preguntarle a la siguiente a sus compañeros. Did you eat pupusas last weekend? Did you eat pupusas last weekend? Raúl, did yes. you eat pupusas yes, last did. weekend? Yes, I did. Ok, excelente. Ana Yasmin, did you eat pupusas last weekend? Yes, yes, I did. Ah, ok. Ana Lucía, did you eat pupusas last weekend? Yes, I did. Ah, ok. Did you eat bean and cheese pupusas? Bean and cheese. Yes. Yes, I did. Ok. Pupusas de frijol con queso. Yes, I did. Oh, what is your favorite? ¿Cuál es tu pupusa <laughs> favorita? Como my favorite sería de chicharrón. <laughs> ah, pork. Okay, pork. Who puts it uh, Pork. Y las de, ¿cómo se llama ese pequeño bejuco que le echan? De cochinito y de lo rojo le voy a decir. Ah, ok. <laughs> ok. Cochinito, right? Cochinito. Bueno, yo lo conozco por otro nombre, pero si les digo, les va a extrañar. Did you get up early? Did you get up early on the weekend? Se levantaron temprano el fin de semana pasado. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, yes I, did. I did. Ah, okay. I'm sorry for you. Um, <laughs> let's see. Did you visit your relatives last weekend? ¿Visitaron a sus parientes el fin de semana pasado? Yes, I did. No, no, I didn't. Know. Okay, and the last one, did you buy groceries? Food? Did you buy food last weekend? Yes, I did. No. No, you didn't. Okay, very good. Do you have any question about how to make sentences? Affirmative sentences, negative sentences, and also questions in simple past tense? Question. Mm. No hay pregunta. No question. Bueno, antes de que se vaya. Um, what did you do last weekend? Dígame dos actividades que hizo el fin de semana pasado. What did you do last weekend? I did go to shopping. Okay, excellent. I did go to shopping. Mm, that is a good sentence. Um, I, I went visited shopping. my father. I visited my father's house. I visited my father's house. Okay, Carmen, you have to do your two sentences. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you, teacher. Bye. Anybody? What did you do last weekend? Two activities that you did last weekend. Me did exercise. Uh, let's listen, Ana. Yes, Tell me, Ana. I did work. Ah, I work. I work. I work last week. I work last week. Okay, excellent. And, and visited my family. I visited my family. Yes. Very good sentences, Ana. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you well. tomorrow. Have a good Bye. night. <laughs> Okay, Mauricio, tell me. Uh, I did play basketball. Uh, I played basketball. Y esa afirmativa no necesitamos did. I played basketball. Okay. Yeah. I eat it from chicken. Okay, I cook. I cook, I cook. chicken soup. I cook chicken soup. Chicken soup. 
Ah, ok, la próxima nos invita, que sea de gallina <risa> india. <risa> ok, Mauricio, thank you. Very good time. Me teacher, me teacher. See you tomorrow. Ok, Kevin, tell me. Uh, I did watch TV and fix my motorcycle. motorcycle. Ok, and, very good. And okay. I did exercise in the room. Oh, very good. I did exercise. I fix my motorcycle. And what was the first one? I... Um, watch TV. Watch, watch TV. I watch TV. Excellent sentences, Kevin. Thank you so much. Bye bye. See you Thank tomorrow. You Have a good night. Ah, okay. <laughs> Ana Lucia, tell me. I did work and studied. Okay. I worked. I worked and I worked. studied. En afirmativas no necesitamos el did. Solo para preguntas y negativas. De una vez decimos el verbo en pasado. I work. I work. And I yeah. studied. Excellent. Thank you, Ana. Bye, bye. Uno más, uno más y nos vamos. ¿Quién salva la clase? Anybody? Just one. Me, teacher. Ah, ok. Thank you, Manuel. Tell me your sentence. I did visit Ostuma. Excellent. I visited Ostuma. I... Without me. Mm -hmm. I did visit a restaurant. Oh, I went to a restaurant. I, yo fui a un restaurante. I went to a restaurant went. and I visited Ostuma. Mm -hmm. En oración afirmativa no necesitamos el did. De una vez decimos el verbo. Mm -hmm. I visited and I went to a restaurant. Ah, Excelente sentence, Manuel. Thank you so much. Well, Marvin, Gabriel, Gracias. Ángel, Raúl, Emmanuel, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Sleep well. See you tomorrow.